It's March 1st, 2013. Here's my review for The Last Exorcism Part 2. Okay, first off, I have to give a little bit because I it was fun, I have a funny story here. Ask Ed Gastonelli, who is from Toronto. I met him about 10 years ago. I was at a coffee shop doing a, doing a meeting of some kind, and then there's this guy reading a script, and one of my production partners at the time goes, hey, you should go talk to that guy, he's reading a script. So I ended up talking to him and I ended up sitting down having breakfast with him and then basically talking to him for a couple hours about films. And I actually did a couple music videos and actually bored some of his, well, no, I rented, didn't bore, I rented some of his equipment that he was renting for me. So basically I was curious to watch what I guessed Donnelly, uh, I guess he's not a friend, but someone that I met before, like way back when and seeing where he kind of ended up with The Last Exorcism Part 2. You know, it's an interesting kind of directorial t tale, but here I gotta admit, I watched Stoker, which is another thriller horror movie, less than 12 hours before I watched The Last Exorcism Part 2, and they're two different kinds of movies, and it's like, you know, this is not my genre, this is not my thing, but I'll be the journalist here. Watching Stoker and then watching this movie, it's like, it's like apples and oranges. It's like, here's a brilliant executed movie in Stoker, and then this is The Last Exorcism Part 2, which is like, blah, like, that's all I can say is like, you know, whatever, I've seen all this stuff before. But kudos to him for, uh, for his success, and uh, thanks for letting me borrow that equipment for the music videos. That's my review.